Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ron and today we're going to be going on a HAS-5 mission without any overclocks for the Bolt Shark and the Plasma Carbine. This is using the third set of weapons for each of the classes since we now have the new secondaries without any overclocks on them um, and just kind of showing you how I use them and how they can be built. So first up with the Drac, uh, this is my standard Drac build that I use on most things. Uh, so I'm going with improved thermals in tier 1 so that we get less heat generated per shot. Increased ammo in tier 2, faster cooling in tier 3, electric rounds in tier 4. Honestly, I switched between all of these in tier 4. They're all pretty good. Electric rounds gives you a good mix of everything since it gives you damage over time and a status effect. Uh, the plasma splash gets you more AoE, so you're better against crowds. And then the armor breaking is better against uh, single targets like Praetorians and uh, guards. And then I'm going with a thermal feedback loop so that we get a faster rate of fire once we hit 50% heat or higher. For the secondary, we have the crossbow here, and I'm going to be running an electric crossbow build. You can really take whatever you'd like. I found that all the bolts are pretty good, it just depends on what you want. Pheromone is pretty good for just distracting enemies, it's really good solo, because you can kind of have hordes attack uh, themselves while you're either picking them off or getting to a safe spot or doing objectives. The uh, chemical rounds are also pretty good for just killing smaller enemies, clearing up uh, smaller hordes. I find them pretty useful and the electric rounds are really good for killing big things and also for dealing with hordes. So that's kind of why I'm taking that one. Tier 2 I'm taking extra ammo. We don't really need more damage with the crossbow. It does enough damage by itself so uh, more ammo just makes sense. You could really go with any of these though. They're all pretty good. In Tier 3 I'm going with the uh, faster reload speed. I really like having a faster reload because the crossbow is a little bit sluggish without it. Tier 4 I'm going with Battle Frenzy so whenever we kill something with the crossbow we can kind of run away or run towards whatever, get a little bit of a speed boost. And then in tier 5 we're going with the magnetic shafts. This makes it so we can do some more damage to enemies that we put our electric bolts on. If you're not running electric bolts I wouldn't recommend taking this. It's not really that great then unless you have another scout with like IFGs or something. Or if you're running IFGs with certain overclocks. So that's why I have that. Uh, I am running IFGs as it turns out so works even better there. Uh, my pickaxe, I'm running my usual pickaxe setup so power attack, better weight balance. For my flare gun, I'm running full duration flare gun. For my grappling hook, I'm running full reach with momentum. And then for my armor, I'm running bigger mineral bag, healthy, shock absorbers, and breathing room. For perks, I'm going to be running resupplier to get resupplies back faster. Very useful. Uh, unstoppable because it pairs really well with momentum. This pretty much gives us the effects of dash whenever we use our grappling hook. So we don't get slowed down by things like deep snow, sandstorms, goo, anything like that. Thorns keep little stuff off me. Beastmaster get a Steve. And heightened senses to not get grabbed by leeches. We don't really need things like dash on scouts. And usually in multiplayer I'd be running... Born ready, Let's or not born ready. <laughs> uh, I might be running born ready depending on the setup. I usually don't do that if I'm taking the drag. But um, usually Iron Will and Field Medic is what I run on Scout and Multiplayer. Alright, down we go. Oh. Okay, take care of that. All right, team, you're going after eggs, oh hey, there's a chunk of gold. Let's go, get that. Get the eggs we need to be rich. To Although I can't spam we're rich because we're not playing multiplayer. <laughs> See if we get a horde from our first egg. No, nope, no horde. Well, no standard horde. Yeah, just these off. And then we can kind of use this to arc them together. Just let us slow them down a little bit. A little stunned with that. Okay. Sorry, little bugs. I do need your stuff though. Let's go over here and yeah, do that. That's not a hard egg either. Okay. I don't think I hit that in the spot. There we go. <laughs> on him. Do that. Yeah, that kills him pretty fast if you stack all that stuff on top of one another. 
right. Oh, there's a Praetorian over here. Molly, come here. Yeah, Molly. Let's go. Get, Can you get that one. I haven't found a great place to fight, so. I mean, the best place has probably been the starting room, which I could go back to. That's not a horn egg either, huh? Okay. Interesting. That's three of six. No, oh, there's a detonator. Come here. Shoot it. Yeah, fight that one, Busco. I want to get rid of these first. Have that arcing around him. And then we'll just keep hitting him with these. But we can <laughs> as Bosco just keeps shooting him. Okay, just take him down. Alright, and uh, I guess this will be the room that we fight in, which has gotten even worse since the detonator went off in it. So this is less than ideal. Let's go, you want to get that? Oh no, that's not good. Oh, okay, but... Apparently it's okay. The there we go, the that's the swarm. Alright, let's go give me that. Go. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna fight up here, then we're gonna try to circle back down and around, and I'm gonna call in a resupply right there. Because I will probably need it. Well, let's go. Whoops, and I dropped that on my head. <laughs> that sounds about right. Thanks, let's go. I was moving back to the. Yeah, that wasn't so great. I can't get another Steve just yet. Okay, there we go. I was like, I feel like my audio is kind of messed up. Maybe that happens. Okay. That is good news. Bad news though is I'm getting beat up <laughs> by a bit too many jellyfish and stuff. Bosco, thank you for the res. Right, I'm gonna grab this then. Can you actually, uh, can you do it again? Okay, well, you froze the other one. That works. Just chain these two together. And kind of get rid of them. Come back here, roller. There we go. Put some shells in the shell back. 
should probably also get that Umanite down here. Even though when I checked, I had like so much of this, I had like 9,000 Umanite or something. Which is bizarre, considering I... What the heck? Okay. Considering I had like 200 Jadits or something like that. I need you to get that one, Busco. I'm gonna be running around here grabbing these, and then... How the heck do I get back to the main room of it? Looks like over here. Yeah, it looks like up through there. Alright, we'll see if this is a horde egg. Yeah, it is, okay. Uh, Busco, yeah, just drop that. We'll go fight back here in this room. Oh, and another resupply just in case. Hang in there. Supplies are on the way. Alright. Get some more damage in with the crossbow. Oh man, there's so many jellyfish around here too. Off. All these little things. And stun the uh, slashers when we can. Oh. It's nice that it always, well, it seems to always stun even if you don't kill something. Got the drag here to kind of pick off whatever we can with the crossbow. Yeah, maybe scram some didn't get anything like this one. Quiver's empty. You guys should have used the uh IMGs a little bit more there. Ready to kill some more. Alright. Grab this. Grab ammo. that. And then Dippity. we only need to get one more egg, which is not a horde egg, because we dealt with the hordes. That room was a whole lot better to fight hordes in than the other. Hey Steve. Alright, I should probably be going over like some tips for the crossbow. But the crossbow is pretty self-explanatory it's good at long range it's good at close-ish range too it's not way great if things are right up next to you but if you can hit things in the weak spot it usually does pretty decent damage even without any damage uh, buffs to it since you can normal you can't one shot normal grunts and if you can hit weak spots I think you can one shot headshot slashers without any damage upgrade either. You definitely should be able to. You can actually do a lot of damage even to guards. I don't remember if you go with the damage mod, you have enough to one-shot headshot a guard in the head. But that is an option if you just want to take it for that. And then just use your primary weapon to clear up any of the small things. I think it pairs really well with the Drac. Um, it can pair pretty well with the GK2 as well. So you got some synergies there, especially if you're talking about overclocks. The uh, like Bullets of Mercy overclock is really strong, it kind of always has been, but it's now really strong because the crossbow exists and you get buffs from just using it with its special bolts. The crossbow is, I think, more of a utility weapon than necessarily like single target damage, like you would kind of think. 
it can be substituted as single target damage. It does high damage, but it's probably not going to do actually as much damage to a single target as just getting close to it with like the uh, boomstick or using like the IFGs and going with the electric build for the GK2. Those are still usually stronger against single targets. Which is kind of interesting, but you do have some uh, interesting combinations like just chaining stuff like this together. Along, along with if you're going with the IFGs or you're going with cryo grenades. It's kind of surprising. And one thing that is nice about the crossbow is that you don't actually really need to hit something in the weak spot with it. Since you can just shoot an oppressor in the face or a Praetorian in the face. It's not going to be as good as actually hitting in the weak spot, but it does do the job. There we go. Had a bolt. I do like that you can go pick up your bolts too, so if you're not the best shot or if bugs are flying around like the Mecteras are really difficult to hit in general. Alright. What? Which direction are you going? Okay. I guess Molly's just kind of confused. So I do like it. I think it's a good addition to the scout's arsenal. Um, and it does kind of make sense now that I think about it to give it to Scout. I was thinking it would be great on, like, Driller, and I still think it would be. But if you still wanted the retrieving bolt mechanic, it would be kind of odd. With Scout, it's definitely the easiest to do that. Let's go. That was a pretty smooth mission, other than me dropping the pot on my head. That kind of sucked, but happens. <laughs> Let's see, how many kills did we get? Probably not a whole lot. That wasn't a very long mission. 181? Eh, that's a little bit more than what I thought. There was a lot of jellyfish, though. That probably made up a decent amount of the kills. We got a lot of magnite from that. Cool. Alright, well, that was a solo mission with the bolt shark and with the plasma carbine. Uh, without any sort of overclocks on them. They are both really good. They're actually pretty good in combination. I think they're probably best in combination, assuming you're not counting overclocks, for just each other because the Drac is really good at clearing up crowds, it's got plenty of damage per second, it just kind of struggles with big things. The Bolt Shark can do pretty well against big things and it can provide you with some more utility. So tell me your thoughts on the crossbow down below. I know it's been very uh, polarizing to a lot of people where some people love the crossbow and some people hate the crossbow. Uh, Tell me your thoughts. Thanks for watching this. I really do appreciate it. And special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over at Patreon. If you'd like to be a part of it, you can. There are links down in the description. Thank you guys so very much for doing that. It really does help out the channel a lot. Uh, you guys all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye!